In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the alpha of Project Onyx. Now, I uh, forgot my microphone at home, so I apologize for the bad sound quality. But anyway, once you download it and unpack it, just double click on Onyx to get started. Uh, click on the connect button. Enter in your favorite VC or ESX server. Uh, and then go ahead and click on your VC client. Now, when you do that, you have to connect to your local system on 1445 using the HTTP protocol. That's very important to get that syntax exactly right. So go ahead and connect in using your usual username and password. When you do that, you'll be prompted uh, to say if you want to um, uh, use an insecure connection. So the, what's going to happen is it uses HTTP locally on your system, but over the wire, the, um, the, the traffic is still encrypted. So anyway, we log in. Um, and let's just see what, what this thing is capable of doing. I'm going to edit this VM. I'm just going to set a static MAC address. Before I start, go to Onyx, click the Start button. Now I can go in and edit the settings of that VM, like so. When that shows up, I'm going to go and just select my network adapter, and I'm going to set it to a, a static uh, MAC address of my choosing. Once I do that, I can switch back over to the Onyx window and um, I'll see that a script has been created that will actually make this change. Now you can take this script, uh, edit it a little bit, and then produce a, uh, a working bit of PowerShell code. Uh, a lot of that is sort of an exercise for the reader, uh, but if you have any trouble, be sure to uh, you know, stop by and see us on the uh, PowerCLI community on VMTN.